Hi, I'm Mike with Morgan Inspection Services. I want to talk today about uh, these uh, electrical outlet testers. Uh, you've got various kinds of them. I've got a couple right here. A lot of them are just called three light testers because they have three lights. This one happens to have five lights, but it does exactly the same thing as this. It's no more accurate. It gives you indications of certain uh, wiring configurations on your outlets. The way these things work is it measures the voltage difference between two of these prongs, whether it's the hot and the neutral or the hot and the ground or the neutral and the ground. If you've got a voltage difference, basically of 110, 120 volts between these two prongs, the hot and the neutral, then this center light will come on. If you have a voltage difference between the hot and the ground, then this light will come on. So in that case, if you have a voltage difference between the hot and the neutral and the hot and the ground, then your outlet is wired properly and you'll have these two lights on. And according to the legend here, those two lights indicate that it's correctly wired. Now, if you have a voltage difference between this ground prong and this neutral prong, then there's a problem. It basically indicates that you have voltage most likely on your neutral wire, so you have a reverse polarity, and then this red light will come on. So anytime this red light is on, there's a, a problem with the way the outlet is wired. So I want to show you something else. I'm going to take you to my test rig. Give me just a minute. Okay, I'm back. So this is my test rig. This outlet has power. It's sending power out to these wires. This is my neutral wire, no voltage on it. This is my hot wire, it's got voltage. Now, what I'm going to do, I do not recommend you doing. It's really not the safest thing, but I wanna do it because I think it's important to show how these things work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to touch uh, these wires to different combinations of prongs on my tester. So I'm going to start out by touching the hot wire to the hot prong and the neutral wire to the neutral prong and watch what happens. This center light comes on. That's indicating a voltage difference between the hot and the neutral. Now I'm going to simply flip this over. So now the hot wire is going to uh, be touching the neutral prong and the neutral wire is going to be against the hot prong. Watch what happens. That same light comes on. This thing has no way of knowing which side is receiving the voltage or which side is touching the hot wire and which side is touching the neutral wire. It just knows that there's a 110, 120 volts difference between the two prongs. That, that's all it can tell you. So now I'm going to touch the neutral wire to the ground prong and the hot wire to the, uh, this is gonna be the neutral prong. And that red light comes on. That red light will always indicate when there's a voltage difference between the neutral and the ground. Now obviously, on a properly wired outlet, uh, both the neutral and the ground will be at zero volts. So anytime this red light is on, indicates that there's a, a miswired outlet. So now what I'm gonna do is touch the hot wire to the hot prong and the neutral wire to the ground. And what's gonna happen is this right hand light comes on. That's indicating a voltage difference between the hot and the ground wire and you should have a voltage difference between the hot and the ground on a properly wired outlet. So when you have a 120 volt difference between the hot and the ground and between the hot and the neutral, these two lights will come on indicating that your outlet is wired correctly. Again, that's all this outlet does is turn a series of lights on depending on which uh, prongs are showing a voltage difference from each other. That's all it does. 
Okay, so I'm back. I want to show you something else. So this now is a properly wired outlet. I have the two ground wires connected together. I have the two black wires connected together, or the hots, and I have the two white neutral wires connected together. So when I plug my tester in, these two lights light up, indicating that it's correctly wired. Now, watch what happens when I disconnect the ground wires. This light goes off indicating that there's no longer a voltage difference between the hot and the ground. Now I'll put those back together. I'm gonna disconnect the neutral now. This light goes off indicating that there's no longer a voltage difference between the hot and the neutral. Now, if I take the hot wires apart, both lights go out because there's no voltage difference between any of the prongs. So that's exactly what should happen. What I've done now is I've set up a reverse polarity situation or a hot neutral reverse. This is the hot wire that feeds this outlet and it's connected, as you can see, to the white wire here. Here's the neutral wire connected to the black wire, which goes to this. So we've got a reverse polarity situation. Now, when I plug this tester in, it should show that by lighting up these two lights. And that's exactly what happens. So it tells you that you've got a reverse polarity or a hot neutral reverse, just like it should. But watch what happens when the outlet is not grounded or if there's a ground wire disconnected somewhere. This light goes off because there's no longer a voltage difference between the neutral and the ground. So the, all the tester's telling you is that you've got an open ground. It does not tell you that you have a hot neutral reverse. These testers can only show you one problem at a time. So if you're using this to diagnose electrical problems, you need to be aware of uh, the fact that they're only gonna show you one problem. And here you may completely miss the fact that you have a reverse polarity or a hot neutral reverse. So it's important to understand how these work and that they don't tell you everything. Uh, one way to diagnose a reverse polarity is, okay, on a normal outlet, this side is hot and this side is neutral. But on reverse polarity, if you check with a voltage sensor, it does show you that this side is the hot side and this side is not. But you're not gonna wanna go around sticking this in every single outlet to see if you've got a reverse polarity. So there are limitations to to these testers. The next thing I want to show you is we've got a, a, a ground fault protected outlet here and as I plug this in you can see that it's wired correctly. Those two lights come on. I push the test button on, on this three light tester and it works. The lights go off. The thing loses power just like it's supposed to. But let me show you uh, here, if we disconnect the ground wire, so now this is an ungrounded uh, uh, GFI outlet or an outlet uh, with an open ground. Now, if I push the button on the tester, it doesn't work. It's because these uh, three light testers have to have a ground wire connected to simulate the ground fault in order to test these ground fault outlets. So you just need to realize that these three light testers cannot test a GFI outlet. You have to use the built-in test button if the outlet happens to not be grounded. Now with that test button pushed, you can see that it did kill power to it. So this GFI is working properly, but with it being ungrounded, you cannot test it with one of these.
Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is here we have a properly wired outlet. You've got the black wires connected together. You've got the white wires connected together. You've got the ground wires connected together. You plug this in, it indicates it's correctly wired. So what happens if the neutral wire becomes disconnected somewhere? You now have an open neutral situation. So this light went off indicating there's no longer a voltage difference between the hot and the neutral since the neutral is no longer part of the circuit. Well, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna plug this in. This goes to a lamp, which is right over here. And when I plug this lamp in, nothing happens. I'm gonna stand up and turn this lamp on now. Watch what happens with the tester. This comes on, this light. These two lights indicate a hot ground reverse. Now a hot ground reverse is something that is very, very rare. Uh, it would be a very dangerous situation if you had that in your home. But that's what this tester shows that you have when you have nothing of the sort. All you have is an open neutral with a load plugged in and turned on. Now watch what happens when I turn the lamp back off. That red light goes off, it comes back on, it goes off. These testers can give you false indications. If you don't do a little more investigating, you may think that you've got a hot ground reverse and start trying to track down where, how this, the grounding system got uh, live voltage on it and how the hot wires are basically at zero volts when that's not what you have. Now, obviously this lamp is not working because no, no current can flow because your neutral wires are disconnected. And that's basically why you've got the indication that you have. So you've got power going through the cord, through the hot wire on the cord, up to the lamp, through the bulb, it's coming back on the neutral side and because there's no current flowing, you have no voltage drop. So both sides of, both prongs in this cord uh, are gonna be at 120 volts. If you watch this, I'm gonna show you right here. You've got 120 volts on this neutral wire because of the power or the voltage that's going through the lamp and coming back to this wire. Even though no current's flowing, you still have voltage. So that's a limitation that you have with these testers. They do not always properly diagnose the problem. And that can cause issues if you don't do a little more investigating and if you don't understand exactly how they work. I hope this information has helped you and uh, if you have any comments or any questions or any suggestions on experiments, uh, please let me know and I'll see what I can do. I appreciate your time.